Despite only being 17 years old, she bravely carried her father's casket as a pallbearer and held her mother's hand the entire Friday of his funeral. Furthermore, it has come to light that Darcy Draper supported her 56-year-old mother Kate Garraway as a continuous pillar of strength during Derek Draper's tragic four-year struggle with COVID. As to the insider's report, the entire family is remaining close to help each other throughout this trying period, particularly the kids who have consistently been Kate's biggest source of strength. It follows the emotional interview that Ms. Garraway gave on Good Morning Britain today, her first on-screen appearance since her husband's death, which occurred just three days after his funeral on Friday. On January 3rd, Mr. Draper passed suddenly due to a cardiac attack, four years following a severe episode of COVID-19 in 2020 that severely compromised his health. In the conversation with her ITV co-stars, Richard Maidley and Susanna Reed, Ms. Garraway commended her daughter for her extraordinary bravery during Mr. Draper's last few months. Popular with her school friends, the youngster proved to be a dependable and courageous person during her father's burial and in the weeks leading up to his passing. According to her, Darcy's final words to her father were, Dad, if you can't do this, we'll be okay. Don't worry about us or about your mother. Just let go if you need to. Because you live on through us, we'll be all right. Ms. Reed, 53, expressed shock and stated that the account of Darcy's resilience over the terrible experience of losing her father will undoubtedly open a mature conversation about how we talk to kids about death. Ms. Garraway concurred and recalled how mature her kids had been when she told them their father had passed away from a heart attack. How are you, mom? Was the first thing Darcy said, the woman recalled. My breath was taken away by that. That's a great question. I appreciate you asking. I replied that they've embraced a caring position, and for that, I'm really happy. They felt no need to press him to continue fighting for us because, in my opinion, he didn't doubt it's beautiful that they perceived things from his point of view. It seems extraordinary to me. We are just in the foothills of our grief, he continued. Last Friday, Mr. Draper's funeral took place in Primrose Hill, London, and attendees included Tony Blair and Keir Starmer. Elton John sang a sweet rendition of Skyline Pigeon during the service along with her 14-year-old son Billy and Darcy, who was wearing a similar 150 pounds faux fur-trimmed coat from the British brand De La Cream, an emotional Ms. Garraway was wearing a 349-pound black overcoat from Hobbs. Afterwards, Darcy was spotted carrying her father's casket. According to Ms. Garraway, she did this to allay her mother's concerns that the day's meaning would be overshadowed by her IDV prominence. It was her idea, she asserted. I desired for the funeral to be a celebration of all that Dad stood for rather than just me. As we were discussing it, Darcy entered the room and asked to carry the casket. Oh my goodness, that's a real challenge. Anyone who has ever done it knows it's a heavy lift. However, she effectively insisted, saying, I want to do it. And I found it to be quite lovely. Attendee Richard Maidley recalled in the interview that Ms. Garraway had read aloud a Darcy eulogy that was wonderful and also very amusing at moments. It made everybody laugh, but it also ended with her last words to her late father. He remarked. She essentially whispered to him, You guys can stop worrying about taking care of each other. Which is why I thought this was such a mature thing to read aloud. Before Mr. Draper passed away, Ms. Garraway took a long leave of absence from the ITV show to be with her husband. Mr. Draper had gone into a vegetative condition following a heart arrest in December. She explained that it was a stop all the clocks moment since, having entered a positive place, her late husband had appeared to be the one furthest from death before his passing. When he passed away in January, the doctors estimated that he only had 24 hours to live but she claimed her heart sank for the kids who had heard it many times before.